We fade in on the cold hand of a dodgy old wanker. Melisandre must have brought Walder back from the dead because fans missed him. <laughs> Just kidding, it's actually Arya using a very particular set of skills. She poisons all of House Frey. The army of the dead is moving at maximum speed. Ah, oh, fuck's sake, they have a giant. Brano is keeping an eye on them though. He and Mira have arrived at the bloody wall. Ed says, who the fuck are you? Mira says, oi, you're talking to a Stark, mate. Oh, that could be bullshit. Brano monologues in a cynical and truthful manner. So Ed is like, yep, okay, okay, he does check out as a Stark. And uh, yeah, nah, that completes the extreme vetting. Cut to Davos thinking about dinner. Jono wants to let families who didn't fight keep their castles. Sansa says, you fucking SJW. Jono replies, fuck your right-wing narrow mind. So much for the tolerant left. Davos just wants food. Cersei has drawn a big map so she can easily see all the people the Lannisters have fucking fucked on. Jamie wants to talk about their dead kids. Cersei is sick of her dead kids though and beelines for her bottle of tawny. Euron Greyjoy rocks up for another episode of Pirate Wants a Wife. He has a lot of ships which is something Cersei is looking for in a fella. She plays hard to get and he says I'm gonna bring you a present. You just sit on your spiky throne I'll bring you a fucking cheeky prezzy. Meanwhile over at Maester School Sambo is in a world of shit. Literally if he clocks up 50 K debt and is suddenly unable to get a job after doing this degree. <laughs> I am gonna be pissed off. John, I better not hire someone else. He doesn't even get a subscription to the best academic journals. Fucking bullshit. He decides to hack the university to get the best books. Good stuff. Well played, Sambo. There's Podrick. He is hoping to finally graduate from white belt to yellow belt today. Tormund walks around with a stiffy. Littlefinger checks in on Sansa's mental health. He's like, what's wrong? You want to Netflix and chill tonight? She tells him to get absolutely fucked. He has to look for a maester to heal the burn. Ed Sheeran and the most wholesome Lannister soldiers in Westeros enjoy a campfire and a sing-along. Arya sits down and thinks about about killing these dickheads, but then Gary Goodguy offers her a feed and talks about how he's always nice to strangers. She's like, fuck, he is adorable. I mean, look at his little face, gee whiz. She gets totally pummeled with ethics and values. Happy days. There's the Hound and the Brotherhood Without Banners. The Hound finds some dead wankers he once stole some silver from. He decides to give them a little funeral. He also dabbles in some religion. Who would have thought? Old mate Sandor is quiet the spiritual cunt. Sambo discovers dragon glass at Dragonstone and quickly fires off an email to Jono. He then discovers Jorah Mormont is in the sick bay. It's gotta be so hard not to pick all of those scabs. Finally Daenerys makes it to Dragonstone and the kids quickly race in to choose their bedrooms. She creates a little bit of art, prepares to redecorate and finds a vintage chair Wormsy wants to sit on it but gets denied. Tyrion and Danny are like, okay, hands off cocks, on with socks. Let's fucking get stuck into some work. Sometimes you wanna go where everybody knows your name. Troubles are all the same You want to be where everybody knows your name yeah, I also want to be where everyone knows my name. Welcome back, ladies and gents. I reckon me favourite scene in this episode has got to be that opening one. That shit was a lot of fun. Brutal. Fucking brutal. Arya killed a whole room of people to satisfy her thirst for revenge, but I'm going to assume that they were all 100% cockheads and no innocent lives were taken. That's going to help me mentally. I also loved the montage of Sam working at the Citadel, we've seen heads explode and people chopped in half, yet I reckon this sequence could end up being quite high on a list of most disgusting scenes ever in Game of Thrones. I also genuinely enjoyed 
behind the Euron Greyjoy scene, beyond the punk rock outfit and the wittiness of the dialogue, the reason I like it is because he was given a juicy chunk of the time code. We can see that he is menacing and unhinged, yet he's a smart fucker. He knows what the Lannisters need. His character is more intriguing than he was last year. Anything to do with the Hound is always fun. He's such a rounded character. I hope he doesn't get too fanatic over this religious shit like Stano Baratheon though. I'll accept it if he wants to dabble in it, that's his choice, but proceed with caution mate. Jono and Sansa power struggles, books and science are awesome, and although Cersei is on the throne, the Lannisters are vulnerable as fuck. There's too many scenes to cover so let's break it down in the comments there. Oh, I didn't mind the wholesome Lannister soldier scene. We were beaten over the head with it, I get it, they're good blokes, he's got a dad, he's got a child, sharing is caring, I get it, good fellas, but yeah, the core purpose of it, to bring Arya back down to earth and have some humanity again is top notch stuff. She killed a whole fucking room of people. Although it's great for her and Sansa to become callous and ruthless in this universe, we don't want to see Starks become ignorant psychopaths. This episode is called Dragonstone and thematically I reckon it's about everyone having a home they want to return to or protect. Everyone's got one. Dragonstone is Danny's ancestral home and she returns to it. Brano is finally coming back into the big smoke having only just returned home. Jono wants to make sure there's unity in the north. Gary Good Guy 1 and Gary Good Guy 2 they both have homes. Sandor is adrift a bit, he returns to a home he once spent a little bit of time in, and binding this theme together is actually Cersei talking about all of her enemies, east, west, north, south. This big fuck off map on the ground <laughs> reminds us that Westeros is everyone's home, and although there's mass war and conflict, a few smart wankers understand that it is everyone's home and it needs to be collectively protected from global warming. I mean aliens, I mean the army of the dead who wants to destroy it all. This is big folks. This shit is massive. It's huge. Oh, it's huge. It's not fake news. It's fucking huge. Cheers. Cheers.